uh, for his 42 years of service here at Rochester Schools. And when um, I think it was Oscar first let me know that Mr. D would be retiring, I immediately got with him and I said, this surely can't be true. And his response to me is, I have to go out with something with the Beatles. And it's when I'm When 64. I'm 64. <laughs> <laughs> Great song. So I'd like for Dave just to kind of share a few memories and we're going to turn it over to the board and then we would like to hear your stories as well, so, which is my favorite part, my favorite part. So if you'd like to share just a little bit and introduce your family and your beautiful grandbaby. And well, thanks everybody for coming. I, uh, my wife Jackie is here and my oldest daughter Carmen is holding our granddaughter Meredith. She's uh, seven months, going to be eight months. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. And her husband Casey is sitting now. His back is killing him tonight. So take a break, Casey. <laughs> my youngest daughter Kelsey is standing next to my wife Jackie. And uh, just nice to have everybody here. I see a lot of faces that I've worked with for many, many years. Uh, I mean, the first year that I started teaching was 1977. Ooh. And uh, I mean, Phil McCarter was was uh, teaching business at the at the high school. And uh, I mean, we've, we've gone through quite a few principals, assistant principals, <laughs> superintendents, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of people have passed away. Um, you know, the most recent guy is Hooker. And I just miss him terribly, because we used to have lunch. Uh, we used to have lunch together and just tell jokes and have a good time. But um, it's nice to see everybody here, and uh, I'm sure glad you came. It's, it's really appreciated, it really is. Well, Dave, on behalf of the Rochester Community School Board, I um, want to thank you for all your years of service. You think about 42 years, you know, all the kids, you're, you have changed their lives with music. And, uh, you know, that's something they're going to take with them the rest of their life and enjoy. So, really appreciate that. Uh, but the plaque reads, in appreciation of your encouragement and dedication to students, staff, and community, 42 years at Rochester Community School Corporation. So, once again, thank you. Thanks, Todd. Thank you. Thank you. 42 years went by fast. It, does. it, does. it did. Uh, we always said it was a little band with the big sound. He just does such a fine job with those students. So as Kathy begins to cut the cake, we want to make sure we serve everybody. But if anybody has stories to tell, it's absolutely my favorite part because <laughs> I, don't, I don't always get to hear them all. But any day stories that you have, we're open for it. Just remember you're on TV. So <laughs> we got to make sure. And my granddaughter's here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I can't, I can't not tell this story yet, Hansel. Okay. So. Be trying. <laughs> you're, you're sitting there going, which one? Which story? Is that what you're saying? Uh, my favorite, though, is uh, when Theo Stevens was here teaching health, and Hooker and uh, Dan Hauser and I, we always had lunch together, and Theo, and, and Theo was a diehard Purdue marching band alumni, for heaven's sakes. Susan Fulp player. Susan Fulp player. And um, he would talk, tell stories about being in the marching band and stuff. And every day he'd bring a Werner's ginger ale. That's what he drank every day for lunch. And at the end, he would put the can on the floor and he would always check the ceiling. And then he would jump up and crush it. And we were always making fun of him because obviously he wasn't really going to hit the ceiling. But he still did it every day. So uh, I believe, I think it was Hooker's idea, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so he goes, okay, I got a great idea. And Mike Zana was student teaching, is that right? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> he got this great idea that we would all save our cans for a semester, okay? And at the end of it, Hooker, during his lunch period, and while it might have been his prep, don't really know, but anyway, he set an obstacle course up through my room and the choir room, and anybody that knows that is all connected to the band room. So it went clear around my pianos, around the keyboard, up the steps, around, up stuff there, then through our office, then through the band room, and he, all these cans were lined up in a row, and the goal, goal was for, 
for Theo to crush all of them with one step at a time. And he could not stop. And he, and he had to jump over piano benches and land on them. And that went clear up through and around through the practice room. And if only we'd had YouTube, we would have had like a million hits in half an hour. Because it was just amazing. <laughs> so that was one of my favorite times. We had so much fun. And, and uh, Mike Zayner and... Who else came down? Was, just, was it just us that watched, witnessed the entire thing? Uh, a couple of ladies in the office came down. <laughs> and the hooker said, you got to come down during lunch. Or yeah, lunch yeah. Oh, my gosh, it was hysterical. We had lots of fun times, though. Lots of hysterically funny stories that we shared about all kinds of things. <laughs> and, the, and the band office always has had um, John Belushi's pictures from... <laughs> Animal House, and he has his college shirt on, and Hooker would sit underneath that poster in the chair. And every time we'd look at him, I mean, we'd just crack up laughing. It was so funny. It did have the uh, liquor cut off of it. You know, the jack it. Yeah. it did have that cut off. Yeah, so. just have the college shirt on. Yeah. Just I don't know. Shirt. I think I think Dave, you could play every instrument, can you? Uh, pretty pretty much, yeah. And he, one day, he decided to get all oh, the teacher's faculty, we we all had played something. I played a trumpet back in the good old days, but that had been a number of years before. So I, I said, give me a trumpet, I'll play. I got down there ready to play. You think I get a, I could get a pucker out of my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing came out. And so I, I lost my job as a trumpet. <laughs> You were just holding it, Phil. <laughs> then, then I sold him pants at the B and B store after that. <laughs> Didn't see him about twenty-eight. That's right. <laughs> Some good times. Yeah. Oh come on, Shirley, uh, quit. I, I don't have a, a specific story to tell. I just, uh, I, I just want to mention that I really appreciate. You don't need to turn around. You know, this. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate working, uh, working with you in multiple capacities, but uh, you really exemplify what it is to, to have a, um, a care for the kids and, uh, and your job and, and everything that you did uh, in every respect that I, you know, every way that I'm, I worked with you was just amazing and, um, and it'll be something I'll remember and, and cherish, uh, you know, going forward. So congratulations and thanks for everything that you've done during your time here because uh, it truly goes unknown. I mean, it, it's it's noticed. It's, we, it doesn't go unnoticed. Thanks. Go Bama. Roll, <laughs> Roll time. Right? Well, Mr. D, I um, took your general music class several years ago. You're wearing a great shirt. <laughs> I did I this on see purpose. It. I was promised Beatles music here today, too. That was some false yes. advertising. I've got it right here. So waiting. I was supposed to thank you. Thank you, Jason. We're ready to go when you're, you guys are. But I, I don't have any natural music ability, but I really appreciated what you did in general music for us, which was to expose us to so many musicals and other ways that we could appreciate music even if we didn't have the talent to play or sing. And that's where I first learned about Singing in the Rain and Oklahoma, and I love musicals and I love theater, and it really was birthed in that middle school band room. Flash forward several years, and I married somebody who has musical ability, so our children have musical ability, thankfully, and um, my husband plays an instrument and has for a long time. And when he found out, you know, our middle son wanted to play in the band, and he said, but they don't, where are the lessons? I'm like, oh, that's not how it works in Indiana. He's from New York where you have band lessons through the day. You have, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a very rigorous thing. He's like, I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> and wouldn't you know, that shows the incredible talent you have with working with kids, that you can have them only an hour a day and only in band camp for four or five days before school starts, and they're playing an instrument. And to watch, you know, that he's now a freshman, watch those four years go by, and the talent with which you work with those kids has just been so impressive. And so thank you for doing that for our students for so many years. Thanks. You yeah, got good kids, too. They're good kids. I would good just kids. like to remind you of a young man who always contacted us and wrote on it and said, when you see Dan Hauser, just remind him that you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great musical saying. <laughs> That's good. I would just say that, uh, Dave, I've always appreciated your enthusiasm and the, and the joy that you had in teaching 
and uh, some of my fondest memories are laughing and telling stories, especially when Chaz was around. God love him. Uh, there were some great memories I have with, with you and Chaz and, and Danny and, and yep. such. There were some really great times. Yeah, you'd walk into the room and uh, the beginning kids would learn this old man, the man song, and Mr. Bartend would walk into the back of the room and I'd go, all right, let's play this old man because there he is. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> Never give him a break. <laughs> I forgot that McGrundy's not here. So Dan Hauser was trying to have a trumpet tune played for his general music class. And he came into my room and he goes, Betty, I listened to this and I can't get it to play on my um, thing. I said, Well, call McCarthy. You know, he's gonna, he'll come and help it. So McCarthy comes in there and being typical Dan, he's like, Okay, Mr. Dan Hauser, sit here. So he says to the computer, and he goes, now see this button right here? It says, volume. <laughs> <laughs> it, he fixed it right there. That's amazing. That's right. Uh, Technically challenging. That's not even happening. Don't tell stories, Jesus. You still have a flip phone? You still have a flip phone? No, no I got rid of that. Oh, good. <laughs> it was Star Trek. I love that. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. There's a lot of time left to fellowship. I know that Kathy has the cake ready to go. We have some people waiting outside, so we want to make sure that we welcome them in as well. But please feel free to stay as long as you'd like. We have the board meeting you're welcome to attend, but this is Dave's time, and we want to make sure and honor that with him this, this evening. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming.